Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Musical Notes. My name's David Jordan. I'm Damaris Jordan. And we're going to dive into a song today that was written by Phil Cross, uh, the gentleman that I traveled with with Poet Voices for a couple of years. And we were talking today, what a deep writer mm -hmm. he is. Uh, he, he, he doesn't just write a simple song. Right. He put a lot of thought into this song, but the name of the song is mm -hmm. Trust the Truth. Mm -hmm. And uh, my wife has written a wonderful article about the truth. So let's dive into it. I mean, right. you got scripture coming from Psalms 91, verses 1 and 2. And the scripture says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Mm. You know, it's um, amazing the way that God references certain things, such as praying in our closet. And here it says, dwelleth in the secret place. I think that for each of us, it's a designated home, which I identify strictly in my heart. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it's with me wherever I go. Uh, I don't know how each of you might interpret those those uh, instructions mm -hmm. yourself. But for me, uh, the secret place just simply means private, right. where no one else is interfering, where it's just you and God. And I've even shared this before. It's, it's unto the same respect of uh, having to have an MRI. You go into this tube, mm -hmm. and it's just you and cold metal and whatever mm -hmm. else right. is surrounding you. And in that atmosphere, uh, I truly feel the presence of God, and I use that time as prayer. Mm. Now, mind you, I don't have one every year, so it's right. not that often that I've had them, but right. I have had several. But to me, that's just a representation of how that you have to go in that alone. There's no one else can get into that MRI machine with mm -hmm. you. And that's the way it is that God wants you to seek him mm -hmm. and for you to seek him as a refuge or go to him in that prayer time mm -hmm. where you're not conscious of anything else but what the Holy Spirit brings to mind. Right, exactly. And uh, there's, like you said, there's so many places you can do it. Um, I do a lot of pondering and thinking in the shower, mm -hmm. you know, um, in, in the mornings. Uh, I'll be showering and, and thinking about God and um, praying in the shower, you know. Mm -hmm. but, but, but like you said, it's really the private place mm -hmm. is the heart. Mm -hmm. You go into your heart and you close the door yeah. and you, the privacy is there mm -hmm. and you talk to God. Yeah. Because one thing about God, you cannot fool him. Mm -mm. So he knows your heart already. Oh, yeah. He knows that what you're saying is sincere. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, but that's the beauty of, of serving a living God, yeah. that he knows us inside out. And he knows what our needs are before mm -hmm. we ask, he we said. Do. Yes, he mm. does. Well, the services we had Sunday mm -hmm. were very special. But goodness, we have very special services. Every week. We have to say every week. Mm -hmm. uh, Brother Dean is such a wonderful pastor. Mm -hmm. And uh, more, I think, in love with the Lord and in his word than ever before. And right. just preaching um, such mm -hmm. wonderful messages and bringing out uh, truths for us that mm -hmm. he's he's not provided before. Yeah. And we just know that God is blessing him in a special yeah, way. Little nuggets, he says. Mm -hmm. yeah. God yeah. will show him another gold nugget yeah. in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we had Clint Jones uh, who preached Sunday morning, and he preached on the Good Samaritan, mm -hmm. brought out some wonderful points. Mm -hmm. But the main point, were three three things that he wanted to be sure we got the message. And it was about the condition of the heart, right. the heart of worship. That was where it began, mm -hmm. the heart of worship. And our actions actually come out of our heart. Uh, the true self and, and God's word even That's says right. that. As a man is in his heart, thinketh, so is he. Thinketh in his heart. Mm -hmm. That's right. So is he. That's yeah. right. That's it. You, so, can't, you can't, in other words, you can't hide it from God. That's right. You can't hide it from God. Yeah. And um, he, Clint came, and of course, he's being presented by the deacons to the church as uh, our youth minister, hoping that um, he can come and serve us, but he'll, he'll go under vote, of course, of the church. But uh, Clint came to preach for us Sunday morning, mm -hmm. and then Brother Dean, being oh, eager as oh, he yeah. always is when he can't preach, oh, yeah. <laughs> he I, was he well, was eager for Sunday night. Well, he always talks about his messages are twenty to twenty eight minutes. Oh yeah, he was so eager 
I think he went 29 minutes. Did he really? I think so. Oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Well, um, we were truly blessed by both preachers and being that uh, Clint is uh, oh, yeah. ordained to preach as well, but he feel his call to the youth. Um, we heard the truth of God's That's word. That's right. That's right. Um, I think that David and I both in our family discussion, as mm-hmm. we have every day, um, we talk about how things have changed about family, friends, even you know strangers that you may get into a conversation mm-hmm. with anywhere. The the trustworthy aspect of mm-hmm. approaching somebody mm-hmm. is just not there anymore like it yeah. once was. Oh, you know, you can you can meet somebody in Walmart, and it's hard to get people to make eye to eye contact mm-hmm. with you anymore. Um, it's, it's just a lack of trust. Throughout right. the throughout the world, people mm-hmm. just don't trust anymore because yeah. there's there's so much going on, and so many people have found out not to be truthful, mm-hmm. and so it's like a lot of people just don't trust anybody yeah. anymore. That, now I'm probably stretching it there, but it just seems that, that way. way. That's right. It seems that the way. atmosphere, and yeah. of course, we know why the atmosphere is that way. Uh, the media alone. Uh, it's it's led by sensationalism. Mm-hmm. A story on its own might not be exciting enough, That's right. so they're going to add to it by the expression in their wording um, it, yeah. and try to be the favorite one over another media source. Um, the truth oftentimes is distorted, and, and that's going to deceive. And sometimes I think it is, um, such as in um, any any media broadcast about our government today and oh, other yeah. things about people, Christian people, uh, there's wording to deceive and even to make us feel like we're alone, like there's not that many Christians mm-hmm. anymore. Mm-hmm. And we know that there is a falling away. Oh, yeah. But it's it's wonderful that we can go out and we can encounter fellow Christians along mm-hmm. our, right. our path every day. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're made to believe the worst about the condition of life in America. We are. Well, uh, this thing about, like you said, the deception of the government, it's like you can hear something said by one of our officials, and you can't help but doubt it mm-hmm. because there's just been so many, mm-hmm. so much uh, non-truth mm-hmm. uh, going out, as you mentioned about the media and then our, our, our officials. that They have learned to word things mm-hmm to make themselves sound good mm-hmm. and make it really sound like they're concerned. But a lot of times you question that. Yeah. Are you really concerned about my welfare? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know that many are. Well, it's being are. politically correct, and I don't know where in the That's world it. that term came from. But we know that in, in general, um, mm-hmm. probably the biggest promotion uh, in life today, in the general aspect of America, it's immorality, and it's uh, in itself deception That's right. to take over the people of our country. And uh, we have to have a source that we can measure these things by. And that source is the Holy Spirit. That's right. The Holy Spirit can bear witness within us mm-hmm. to what is of God and what is not. That's right. And uh, actually, it's him bearing witness to himself and the, in, in people and in situations. That's right. And the, the truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, mm-hmm. the truth is That's the right. truth. Whether you believe it or not, <laughs> right? And uh, and God's word is true. Mm-hmm. So aren't we thankful for that? Yeah. Mm. Well, I think that um, one more statement about the country, and that is, it seems like uh, we're heading to self-destruct uh, if we follow certain things that just have turned completely around about face from Mm -hmm. how we believed and how things were done Mm -hmm. years ago when we were much younger. Um, And and us older people seeing this, Mm -hmm. we have wisdom of the past. Mm -hmm. Young people, they're not they have no comparison. That's right. And and the lack of trust is is placed by some of them toward our generation. They're not listening to us and believing what we have to say. And uh, honestly, mm-hmm. despair and, and the loss of hope can fall very greatly mm-hmm. upon people who do not have God. But truly, as that verse that David just first read when we started our uh, program today was that God is our refuge, mm-hmm. and He is our refuge for protection, for guidance, for comfort, and for truth. 
He mm-hmm. is our source for truth. That's we right. have our Bible, and we have to we have to know it mm-hmm. in order to use it and and mm-hmm. have God's uh, recall to what right. we've read. What's our pastor's favorite verse? Mm-hmm. My yep. people are destroyed for lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. That's right. Mm-hmm. If, if mm-hmm. we don't take it in and uh, let it absorb, not yeah. just read it. You can't just read it. Mm-hmm. You have to let it absorb into who you yeah. are. Let it. I've always said, let it trickle down to your heart. Right. And let it change your heart. Because right. uh, you can read something and contain it and, and retain it in your mind. Mm-hmm. But if it don't feed down to your heart, right. as, a, as, a, as a man's heart is, mm-hmm. so is he. So is he. Mm-hmm. Well, where else can we turn as Christians except mm-hmm. to God? And how are we, Christian to Christian, going to encourage each other? Not by talking about the everyday events, although mm. that that has to be a matter of conversation. Right. We have to be enlightened. We have to be wise and know uh, what is around us and what is happening. But uh, what we can share when we have the Word of God, mm-hmm. when we go to God in prayer and ask for His guidance, He will give us words to encourage one another. Mm-hmm. I think uh, there's a, a book that is written uh it's God's Calling, and the source of it was uh, written in England uh, around the time of World War One, and it was two ladies that came together, mm-hmm. and they started bringing and writing to each other messages as they believed God would have them share as he told them. Mm-hmm. So it was a letter from God to each other, mm-hmm. and someone found these, and, and they're called to be anonymous because they don't know who the ladies were, but it was taken and put into a a devotional style book. And it's just wonderful the way that the words come Mm -hmm. as as from God is different in the writing of the Bible because the Bible is a true historical uh, written event um, over the span of years that God uh, saw fit that this be written. But the words from these ladies were just how we feel the Holy Spirit comforts us and talks to us. And then the person that put it together, likened to what we do, Mm -hmm. where we find a song and scripture that work together, Mm -hmm. they would have a prayer in scripture that that would work with that um, letter, so to speak, from toward each other, but as represented from God. Right. So we we owe that to each other as Christians to encourage one another. We do. We do. And... uh, I don't know. It, it's uh, the the last days we live in. The Bible talks about this being the last days. Yeah. Uh, everything going on in Israel. Mm-hmm. Uh, just you, you almost just get your Bible out and follow along uh-huh. because it's all taking place. Yeah. And uh, like you said, it would. Mm-hmm. So if if doubt creeps in, mm-hmm. just just get the word out, get the yeah. truth back out. Yeah. Refresh your hearts because. We're human. That's right. If we try to live, if we live by the flesh, mm-hmm. we will start doubting. Mm-hmm. But the Bible says we got to live by the Spirit. That's right. That's right. And uh, whatever's in our hearts. Yeah. And uh, and so that's what it's, I keep inter- reiterating that. But whatever's in your heart, that's mm-hmm. an important thing mm-hmm. because that's what's going to come out. As, as a man's heart is, so is he. Mm-hmm. Keep saying that. But uh, you, you see a person, and we all have that flesh side that can still come out. Mm-hmm. We know that. Mm-hmm. But, but we're supposed to live by the Spirit. So right. I'm, I'm glad that um, you wrote this about truth today mm. because this world needs to hear it. Yeah. And we've got a great song to go along with it we too do. in a minute when you get through here. Well, we had, um, we definitely came from the services Sunday as we do every week. Mm-hmm. But the message in itself for Sunday was how this came about was because it, uh, from both Brother Dean and Brother Clint, um, it spoke about the heart and, and mm-hmm. some points about what we gained from it was we have a message to tell. And from that, whatever we share from the Word of God, it is not just in word, but it should also be in deed. Mm-hmm. And that reflects back to the Good Samaritan. But we heard yesterday how the condition of the heart is what we must focus on to serve God fully. Mm-hmm. And that means self-examination, mm-hmm. knowing how we stand in our yeah. heart toward our devotion and surrender to God. Right. We heard yesterday how we must wait on the Lord for guidance, 
Too many times we'll have an idea and we just set out on it. Mm-hmm. Don't consult with God. Pray about it. Don't wait to make sure that he's leading in a definite direction that mm-hmm. might not be exactly the way that you first saw it. Um, we heard yesterday mm-hmm. um, how God looks on the heart mm-hmm. for truth of who we are. Mm-hmm. And we also heard of a vision for God's work in Clark's Chapel. Mm-hmm. The service Sunday ended where... Um, there was a couple that stood up. The last verse yeah, of the invitation good, had been yeah. sung. And um, then uh, Brother Dean moved into uh, telling more about, about Clint, I believe, was where he was. Mm-hmm. Or no, he was introducing staff and deacons right, right. as to uh, also then present Clint. And this couple stood up. And uh, David saw them and got Brother Dean's attention. And so Brother Dean, when he saw him, he asked him, you know, well, what what is it we can do for you or something in that fashion? <laughs> and they said, we want to join the church. Right. So uh, they stepped forward uh, to come. And what was so beautiful about that, Brother Dean shared with the church. He said, you know what God has just given me as a vision that we can hope that in the future mm. that God will use Clark's Chapel Baptist Church. Mm-hmm. And it won't be just somebody standing and saying, I want to join the church. Mm. He said, they'll be standing here and there saying, I want to be saved. Yeah. I want to be saved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and and we just long for that. Yeah. We long for that at Clark's Chapel. That's right. So um, in closing, we just simply shared in our mm. article, let us join together, believing God's word mm-hmm. and trusting God to guide us in serving him. Mm -hmm. And we have to, I was just thinking about the verse that talks about the the seed being sown, which is the word, and how sometimes it falls on stony ground Mm -hmm. and all these things that names about. And so that's one thing when when we we read the word, Mm -hmm. we have to make sure our heart is soft, like soft soil, Mm -hmm. when the seed has been put into the soft soil that our heart is soft mm-hmm. and it, it can receive it. Mm-hmm. And then if you just put seed in the ground and you don't water it, mm-hmm. it, it won't it won't make it. That's right. So then we gotta water it. Mm-hmm. And that's with more word. Yeah. Yeah. And prayer. Yeah. You know, I, I, one thought came to me here that uh, Brother Dean preached on this some time back about the contrite heart. And you know, when we when we do have a heart that is becoming harder and not soft and subject to the leadership of the Holy Spirit, there God has ways to break our spirit, to break our heart oh, in yeah. such a way that that it tenderizes mm-hmm. us and he can reach down yeah. and and get our attention. That's right. And it's it's sad that we have to get to that state sometimes, but mm-hmm. we've we've all been there. Oh yeah. There's there's been circumstances that we can truly relate to God getting our attention. I know all, all the characters in the Bible. You, mm-hmm. They they had to have they that. They went too, through that. Know? Mm-hmm. So that's the human effect. Yeah. Human yeah, effect. that's right. Even in our Christmas play that'll be coming up soon, there are figures in that play yeah. that actually display that. It's not brought out in words to say, look, this is what happened. Mm-hmm. But yet you see it. It's revealed it through is. through the testimony in their part. Yeah, it is. So that's, that's something to uh, mm-hmm. take note on, at, that when you consider your heart, um, you can go ahead and do it. Amen. You can do it for yourself. Well... I'm excited about singing this song because it is the truth. It is. It is the truth. Listen to the words. Oh, please do. uh, Of how uh, Phil was able to put these words down on Mm -hmm. paper uh, about the truth. Yeah. His name, Trust the Truth is the name. We wonder if truth can be found Lifting up man has let us down The fallen and broken Fill the pages of time One thing we've learned from our past God's word is the word that will last When we give him our trust Truth is the promise we find Trust the truth of His promises. Trust the truth of His Word. God's Word will lead us 
us, no one can deceive us, is true, forever has freed us. Trust the truth of our God. Looking ahead to days we face, those of this world will take their place, lift in their gods and the dreams in their minds. Children will search for a word to trust. They will find truth if they see it in us. So we must lift up the word, the way, the truth, and the lie. Trust the truth of his promises. Trust the truth of his word. Are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves? It is the gift of God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. God's word will lead us, no one can deceive us, this truth forever has freed us, trust the truth of our God, trust the truth, trust the truth. Don't that just, uh, Brother Dean was doing 10 minutes of truth and he got excited. Yeah. You know, talking about the word. And uh, it happens the same for musical notes, too. Oh, it does. <laughs> we get to talking about these things and mm -hmm. singing these songs. Man, something rises up in oh, you. Oh, yeah. You know, the one, truth rises the up truth in you. The truth rises up in you. <laughs> one thing Brother Dean said, uh, like after Sunday services, mm -hmm. is that he says one key element that's in a service where the, there was true worship mm. is love. Oh. Mm -hmm. He said people didn't want to leave. Mm -hmm. There were people sitting around talking yeah. after church was over. Uh, so when that love shows up, mm -hmm. you know you had true worship. Yeah. So we are, we're so glad that we're able to take part of that. We are. We're blessed. that we do trust the truth. Mm -hmm. And thank you again for listening to Musical Notes, and we just hope you have a blessed day. God bless. God bless you.